Hi, I'm Severio from Hornet Plugins. Today we're going to show you our new Track Utility MK2, the second version of the multi utility plugin that we did to help you with the many tasks that you can find uh, with audio manipulation. This plugin includes uh, many uh, useful tools in one package that can be used to clean up tracks and improve them and uh, how to gain stage them, also measuring them. With this new version, we've improved the limiter algorithm that we took from our Magnus limiter. We improved the RMS metering, uh, giving a uh, adjustable uh, uh, RMS window size so you can decide for how long the plugin has to meter the RMS level. And then we added the grouping control that many of our plugins already have that is useful to group all the instances together and apply the same uh, parameter at uh, all the whole group in your session. So, Let's dig into the plugin and see how it works. We have the guy here where we improve the contrast uh, using a, a darker background and improve readability of the controls. We've placed both of the metering here on the left. These are the output meters, so you will see uh, the level after the plugin has worked. And then we kept the arrangement here but improved the limiter section using the algorithm from Magnus and uh, uh, adding uh, an out adjustable auto release that is based on, based on the, um, the session tempo. Then on the right here we have the grouping. You can choose between 16 different groups because you can use the track on the track utility on many different kind of tracks so we thought that we have to give uh, at least 16 different groups and you can control every parameter of the plugin if it has to be grouped or not by default every parameter is assigned assigned to the group but you can for instance say that you don't want uh, the type of auto gain pass to the other instances of the group or the gain parameter or whatever just disable it and uh, it won't be passed to the group so in detail we have the input section with a DC filter that is useful to remove uh, eventually the DC offset that you can have in your tracks and the mute button that of course mutes the, the plugin, mute the, the output of the plugin. Then we have the channel selector where we, you can choose uh, if you want the LR default configuration of a stereo track or a mono output with just the L track or the right track or uh, revert the, the stereo image with the RL. Then you can revert the polarity of uh, each of the um, two stereo tracks individually uh, with this reverse button. Then you have the gain stage where you can set the gain manually or using the auto gain algorithm choose if you want uh, a maximum peak specified here or a maximum RMS level using this selector. Then you have the pan that uses the 6 dB pan low and then you have a width control where you can decide if you want uh, to keep the stereo image uh, as it is or widen up or uh, narrow it until it becomes mono at 0% uh, it's a mono it's actually a mono track mono output then on the output section you have a clipper that is a, a regular straight hard clipper and then you have the limiter where you can choose the release between three different settings half a bar, one bar and two bars. Here we can set the RMS window size that is set by default at uh, 600 milliseconds. It's pretty much standard everywhere. So if I run uh, audio through it, it won't change too much without of course uh, changing any parameter, but we can for instance say that we want to how to gain stage it to minus 6 dB as a peak. So we, we set the auto here. 
the gain knob disables, as you can not change manually, but it's changed automatically. And then pressing play, get our auto gain working. Then say if we want to reverse the stereo image and reverse the phase or adjust the left. then probably we want to widen up it and so we, we can do a lot of things with this simple plugin and we can for example create a quick master of the track simply using this plugin if we want to uh, if we want to make it louder we can set the auto gain to RMS, uh, a target of, uh, for example, minus 3 dB, engage the auto, and then press play, and slightly make the track louder, but it's clipping the output of the, w, the, 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 the digital audio station. So we want to enable the limiter to keep it down at 0 dB. Notice that we are not reaching this uh, limit we are we set here because uh, the limiter cannot work any other than that, and uh, our track has too many transients. So we are going to use the clipper to increase the overall output. That's not a really good sounding, but gives you the idea of how you can use this plugin to make quick masters or to create quick masters of the track using the limiter and the clipper. And uh, if we want to group it, you can see that we have, a, we have another instance here that we are going to set to group 1. We'll set to group 1 this instance 2 and it's already changed to comply with what this first instance on group 1 said. So if we, for instance, change, apply the, uh, activate the DC stop here, you see that it's activated also here, and uh, the output clipper, it goes the same, uh, we want to widen up all the tracks, so say 120%, and it's carried over here. So, with this plugin you can mangle your track and uh, make some useful changes uh, very quickly and with a grouping uh, function you can apply the same effect to all your groups, say a drum group for example. Uh, so we have a demo for this plugin, you can go to hornetplugins.com, download the demo and try it out and let us know what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching.